So I'm like totally freaking out thinking like somebody like grabbed her. She is considered missing and at risk. It could be your sister, your daughter. We were all just terrified. We had the phone on the side of the road and those few strands of hair. We checked out every avenue we could. Everyone was suspect. We saw this woman who was almost out in 70 mile an hour traffic. There was a chain around her waist and she was zip tied to the chain. We all woke up to the news that Sherry's safe and returning home to Shasta County. And they will not rest until her captor or captors is identified and brought to justice. She was hesitant at first, like a mistrust of law enforcement. The kidnappers had told her that she was being sold to a cop. Now we want to hear from Sherry herself of what happened. Uh, did she speak? No, she did not. There were more questions than really answers at that point. That was another little investigation inside the main investigation. The stakes are high, and you don't want the family to get hurt, but you still have to uphold the criminal justice system. Put my phone down for just an hour, came out of the gym, Sherry Papini's been arrested. The community got bamboozled. And it's just a complete farce for law enforcement and for the nation. In my view, it's about what made her so unfortunate to get involved in this series of events. It is never too late to do the right thing. We're going to try to fix this thing.